Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo and needed some help cleaning up to make it vector. And this is a pretty easy one. Uh, I've already done it. It could it could go a little bit further. There's some things that could be done to it uh, to make it a little bit better. But it worked out pretty well, and you could smooth it out, and you could actually redraw this. And I might do that in a second video, but I thought I'd show. So this is the the image. It's a CMYK 300 300 uh, PSD. I don't really know what that is, but we're going to go to bitmap and resample. And sure enough, it's 300 dots per inch. We're going to convert it to a bitmap, and I'm going to use CMY colors. Just kind of keep it like it is. I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art, which I use 99% of the time. Uh, I'm going to, it takes just a few seconds. It's already, a, already done. Now it's going to have some white or some, uh, probably a background to it. So let's, Take the rectangle tool, fill it in with yellow, go to the object, order, back a page, and you can see that the the, uh, the letters are white. There's some white fill and some white stars, but that doesn't really matter in the way I'm gonna tackle it this time. So let's get this one out of the way. Our image is almost 10 inches, so I wanna set my nudge factor to 10. I'm going to go up to object and ungroup it. I'm going to take that object right there. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to take that object and nudge it over. As you can see, we're leaving some garbage behind. We're leaving some uh, gray tint type stuff. I'm going to take this and move it out of there. I'm going to take my stripes and move it out. All I'm doing is hitting my right arrow key. Now, Corel does not trace text very well. This wasn't, wouldn't be worth cleaning up, but you can very easily retype that. So we're gonna move this over. As a matter of fact, we're gonna move it the other way and try to move the center parts of this out of the way. Whoop. See, there's a couple parts there. We're gonna need them, so I'm just moving them all. So I've got all the center parts. That's really all we need. Now I'm going to right click it twice over there. As far as the brewing company logo, you just need to figure out what kind of arts that is, how big the circle is. I'll just draw you a circle and take it back to the pick tool so that doesn't happen again. And bring in your arch. And for the video, I'm going to call that good enough. But I'm going to put it about right there and I'm going to nudge it over because this is the arch I want. I want to nudge it back over twice, and I'm going to type that out. And I changed my, I was showing a video, and it started, somebody was having a problem with um, vertical texting, and now I'm having a problem with it, but I know how to fix it. And I've got a text. I'm not going to take a lot of time to try to, match it up 100%, the person doing that can do that. Uh, depending on the size, that's probably good enough. Let's make it like 48 points, kind of get it to that size. Now, as you can see, this has been uh, stretched out, so we want to do that first. We're going to go to the Shape tool, grab this right here, and kind of stretch it out. It's still a little bit big, but once we go to the Pick tool back, we could probably make it 40 points. My number lock got unlocked. We can actually bold it to make it a little bit bigger. Now, if you remember, this is our arch, so we're going to go to text. We're going to go to uh, text a path, and we're going to put it down there till we get that red line. And then I'm gonna mirror it one way, mirror it the other way. Now with this, I can bring it down into the position. And then with this one, I can rotate it back around to the center. 
our red line might not appear, but that's what I'm going to call good enough for right now. Grab it all, go up to object, break text apart, and nudge your text over twice. That looks pretty close. Now there's some problems inside the text. Uh, there's some little facets. But we're going to left click, right click, in red. We're going to go up to object and break curve apart. So now all these pieces are individual. We need to click off of that. This does take a little bit of time, but the, the more you do it, and you could actually retype this text. You know, this, um, especially if you're ever doing a logo for somebody, you know, find out what, if you could find out what font they have. Now, this one's going to be a little bit different. You're going to take the shape tool and basically join those two nodes. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Take this away. Whoop. If you ever see something jump like that, just back up because you need to not have it jump. And I grab the other part. I'm just going to take these away because we broke the curve apart. Let me get rid of that one. For a second, I'm going to nudge that out of the way. Nudge that out of the way. So I must have to break that apart. Let's go to object, break curve apart there. Grab those two center ones. And then we can move our B back. So I'm going to left click, right click. Now where did that go? Uh, 10 inches out of the way. Nudge it back. That's one thing neat about the nudge tool. We're almost done, folks. Get rid of the center part of that circle. And it all depends on what your look wants to be. So now we need to change colors. And also we need to just double check to see if those stars are still white. Go up to object, order, back a page. They're not, they're transparent. We're almost there. Now delete that and just take your smart fill tool and fill that in. You've got a white border, so it's going to work. Then you can make these black and make your stripes black, especially if you're a laser engraver. And then fill in these parts that need to be filled in. Now the B's a little bit rough down there, but that can be fixed. All this stuff can be fixed. And I, you know, what have I, five minutes the end of this, I've almost got it there. That's way too big. Make your smoothing tool, if you have the smoothing tool, in X7 or above, I made it 25 inches, I need 0.25. And just grab on that. Now, a lot of times with a, when you have something filled in, you're changing only one line. So let's move that out of the way and change our letters first. The end looks pretty good. The O needs a little bit of work, but for the video, I'm not going to spend too much time. You do need to click on it. And just real quickly, just kind of smooth it out. If you do not have the smoothing tool, you can do this with the shape tool. You do have to be clicked on it. You don't want to move it too much, you know, where it changes the text. Now we can get rid of this and fill that in again. And there you have a pretty nice logo. There's probably some other areas that need attention. And, but that's a vector. See, like right here on this circle, you know, the shape tool will do that really nicely. Just click on it. Probably have to break it apart. Click off of it. Nope. Tell you what, let's nudge this out of the way and see what it looks like. We might have to select it all. No, it should clean up. I just wasn't clicking on it, I guess. There we go. Clean those edges up. 
And there's a way to draw this uh, pretty easily and get it perfect. And also, if you clean one up, I think you could use it for the bottom also. But let's, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's make our smoothing tool a little bit larger because now that it's by itself, uh, we're not going to interfere with anything else. You do have to be clicked on it. And uh, just real quick, that looks pretty good. And then just nudge it back. There's that logo right here. And if you look at all the trash we left behind, that's what causes most people trouble. So I'm going to send this to her and she can take it from there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.